Spoilers ahead, fuck nuts. Leon, how are you? Not much. Did you know there was a new uh, Hellboy movie that came out? Yes. We <laughs> saw it together. <laughs> oh, did we? <laughs> In the <Did> theaters? We... <laughs> no. <laughs> well, they, I think they canceled that. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it was going to be so shit. So, I guess it was uh, gonna... directed video. It was, was going to be in theaters, but then... And they said September, too. But then, like, on, like, I think, like, pretty much the very last day of September, they were like... Um, you probably noticed this mo- You probably have noticed it's the last day of September, and we still haven't announced the release date, official release date yet, even though we said September. So we're gonna put this on direct to vi- uh, to direct to stream or direct to video in like eight days. Yeah, sounds so, like a brilliant plan. Yeah, on October eighth, Hellboy: The Crooked Man was given to us. Unfortunately, given to us as a. Uh... Interesting to put that. It felt like. Or was it, it fortunately? I don't know. A lot of people are shitting on this movie right now, but did we like it? I don't know. Silas, did we? I was handed a failed abortion fetus <laughs> of a movie. <laughs> Why was that? It was shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just going to spoil it. Shit. Shit movie. Felt a little half baked, did it? Yeah. Pretty fucking baked. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was... mean,. The, I was not a fan of this. Uh, no, I see they tried, but they they failed. <laughs> and I was kind of going in with like a, like I didn't want to shit on this because I like Hellboy, so like I wasn't even going in like. Oh yeah, same. Jeez. Yeah, I'm so I wasn't trying. even going in like wanting to shit on it, and I feel like I was kind of going in with like a mindset since it was on streaming and we weren't in theaters. I was like, this is kind of like a TV movie or like a fan movie. It felt like a YouTube like fucking uh, short. It felt like movie. one of those, right? Yeah. Um, and it's like, short. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, so it has that sort of budget and tone and, CGI feel, was and feel to it. CGI was shit. It, and it bad. <laughs> I just tried to kind of like go along with that for a bit, but my God, I, I don't even think you can call this a Hellboy movie. Uh, like he was barely in it. I, I do see the, the with their attempts of what they were trying to do. To do. Yeah. It's yeah. make it very similar as much as they comics that I respect it to times. Or I do respect that them trying that. Like they did. He's more I, of a background character, so like the other side characters can kind of like get built up actually well, in it, the story. Hellboy's very much a detective who doesn't talk too much to actual pe- during people time. Mm-hmm. A people are fucking usually kind of scared of him, so it's gonna be that thing of I'm just gonna keep to myself. But he's always fucking still like watching from afar, and then just basically kicks in whenever he can, whenever time, sh- he, whenever people need him. Is this supposed to be kind of like a younger Hellboy too? Because didn't they say this was like the 1950s or something? I uh, sort of. This is like uh, I would say the early of the original comics mm-hmm. type of Hellboy. It's uh, it's not his uh, old young young uh, Hellboy days where you saw the pre- like if you ever read the prequel comics essentially. Mm. Which are him as a kid, or what he runs away to Mexico. Good times. So it's his young <laughs> days, but it's not like his kid days. No, it's uh, it's or it's, teen it's, days. It's like it's him as a young <clears throat> adult. Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. It's him. He's already had some good exp- some exper- some experience in the co- in the company. He knows what to do. He's mm-hmm. he's an ex- he is a veteran at this point. He knows what he's doing. It's just uh, it's uh, yeah. So there's that. And this is technically another reboot again. So <clears throat> we have uh. 
Mike Mignola, the creator, I guess more involved with this one. I think he helped like co-write it too. You can see a bit of the Mike Mignola feel to it at times. Where especially did you, looks. did you think that translated well to the screen, or do you think it could have, or do you think I th- like I think it could have been better. It but like the budget and better. shit just made it feel cheap and kind of like I don't know if it's budget or if they just don't know what the fuck to do with mm. it or what like fucking Tom's character just being overused. And I it. hated that character. Yeah, I mean, like this is a, like Hellboy is a lot more. There's some talking between conversations, like but it's usually, like, important information. He was, like, a hick Indiana Jones. Like, he had that fucking stupid hat on most of the time and stuff, too. I was like, fuck this guy. Didn't Dude, he, like, it's, yeah, come on. Didn't he, like, skin a dead cat or something and, like, get its fucking... It, it was his witch girlfriend type thing that gave him a lucky bone, I believe. Yeah. And... Fuck him. He carry around the little cat bone. I will uses say... like a fucking Harry Potter wand. Yeah, we, I was about to say we were both making Harry Potter jokes when he was waiting that wand. Like, he was like to me, at... that was like, oh my god! Have... <laughs> to me, that's the sort of stuff that like, like that just felt so dumb to me. But like, I feel like you know, like I said, the Mike Mignola, the creator of the character, helped write this. Yeah, he was one of the writers on this, so I'm just like, I feel like even with a bigger budget, that still would have been really stupid. Yeah, like him fucking having a harry potter fucking wand out of a cat bone <laughs> but i'm I'm not i'm not too worried about that's just the way they made it look mm. kind of silly at times they also change like i said they also fucking i don't know for some reason a lot more talkative in this and then you would expect from the comics which i get it has to be a movie mm. but the way they 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 uh talk doesn't what's the word seem as right or something like that times. natural like the dialogue is stiff yeah at times. yeah i think no it, it did i think it was mainly between like the dynamic between him and that other girl oh because uh, we couldn't tell he, what they were trying to do with them was, almost we're like are they like friends or are they trying to say there's something more here well or? basically the idea is she was on she was originally research agent who and then now she's on the field mm. probably I don't think at the, at this point she hasn't had much experience on the field. She's been mostly in the labs. Yo. And Hellboy's trying to basically keep her alive for for a good chunk of this, which I'm not gonna lie, that part's very much like the comics, <laughs> where he, I you got a new guy. Could... Whenever there's a new person, Hellboy sometimes see a lot of the t- at times they kind of just die. They just die. <laughs> they kind of die at times in the comics, or if they survive it, you'll see them in. Uh, They'll actually start becoming more grizzled uh, fucking veterans, which is always interesting to see. Because mm. it's like uh, Hellboy d- keeps you guessing in the comics. Where, is this person going to live or die? You're going to find out today in this issue. And if they live, they typically will make a return at some point down the line. And they'll be a lot more uh, fucking v- venerated since uh, Hellboy does have a lot of time skips at ta- at, yeah. uh, throughout uh, the comics. It's very great. It's very fun, though, to see, like, oh, shit, there's the guy from the fucking, from two or three issues ago. He's back after fighting a fucking Nazi gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> that happens in one of the fucking things. It's hilarious. In one of the stories. I don't think they captured that sort of vibe here very well, though. They should They should have went with the story. They. I think they should have also went with a better, like, story of, of Hellboy, or instead of starting off the Crooked Man. I still, like... For example, Hellboy versus a giant, a giant Nazi gorilla. Yeah, the Nazi scientist would have been a better. That, I didn't think the those, uh, those stories would have gotten people way more invested too. Fucking because that, that's besides good action, good lore. Mm-hmm. It's also diving a bit more into Hellboy's backstory at the same time without being like oh, hitting you over the head with it. Like this was trying to at times, I guess, mm. but but it was like almost all towards the end. It was all fucking very fucking very little of it. You yeah, know, weird. But, way but yeah not the uh they could have done i think honestly probably should have started with a better story yeah did you think like because this i think they were mainly saying this one was more of like a horror yeah they were trying to make it and i didn't think the horror i don't usually like horror movies um i guess i'm kind of a pussy when it comes to horror movies a little bit but this was like nothing yeah it didn't feel like this was hard too yeah and like the like if you're not a, if you're like that with horror movies, you have nothing to worry about with them claiming that with this because I wouldn't even say it's spooky. Like it, it's not even creepy. Mm. No, I get what you mean. I could see where they were trying, but it's like you said, they couldn't follow through as well mm-hmm. as much. Where the horror aspect of it, at least. 
Yeah, that did not work well for me. Like, um, like the fucking witches. Especially the, the crooked man. He just looked like fucking the leprechaun from yeah, those movies. Yeah, you point that out, and I couldn't unsee it. He yeah. does look like the leprechaun from the leprechaun movies. Fucking like, Warwick he just Davis. grew taller and a little bit skinnier and skinnier. Got a little bit paler. Which we is got kind Warwick of Davis to reprise the leprechaun as the crooked man now in this Hellboy movie. <laughs> it's kind of a reboot for both characters. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, uh, did you like the guy, new guy as Hellboy? I actually surprisingly didn't mind him as much, to be honest. I think they didn't have the look of Hellboy in this movie. Yeah. Look what? I thought it was better than 2016 look that they were going for with the guy who does Hoppa from fucking Stranger Things. But uh, no, he was a- uh, Hoppa. The look-wise of Hellboy, I actually liked it. Not too ugly, my, not also not like fucking handsome either. The, the perfect balance of Hellboy. <laughs> Perfect balance. Yes. Yeah, I personally... I haven't seen the David Harbour Hellboy one. But, um... So I don't know. I can't rate his performance. But I wouldn't say it was bad here. I think it was mainly the script's fault. Because I think this actor was in uh, Deadpool 2 or something like that. I think he was like Black Tom or something in Deadpool 2. So... And I can't even really remember how he did as that character. But... He he's not bad. I just think like the the budget's so cheap. Like the the costume looks like it's like in a, from a fan film. I will say like where there was points like you could see like on his uh, forehead, his brow, like yeah. like the where they were basically applying the horns or something. Almost, I was like, wow, that is bad. And that like I didn't when we were actually watching the movie, I didn't notice that too much actually. Mm-hmm. But that was like of like a screen like a promo image or something they were showing like that they before the movie came out where they were like trying to show a photo from the movie to show it off and i was like that was one of the ones they picked holy shit you can literally see how bad the fucking makeup is i also i also think the agent uh got a little bit side tra- sidelined in this fucking movie surprisingly like you think she's Who, gonna the girl a part yeah the uh the psychic uh the one that turns out to be a psych the psychic agent i, I wish i'm blanking on her name uh, she does play a role in the comics. Yeah, but um, I'm tr- but uh, they she got sidelined. I think kind of hard. She got sidelined. Yeah, especially when to- because Tom's doing all the fucking talking in this movie. He, the man just doesn't stop yapping. I know. I'm yeah, like, he was more of a character than she was, and I think if they had actually focused on the relationship between Hellboy and her, it could have maybe that relationship could have worked better. Yeah. But to me, it kind of just seemed a little forced. Like and I, I liked... wasn't knowing if they were trying to like insinuate a relationship or friendship oh, or. Oh yeah, they were kind of pushing the weird Hellboy, uh, having especially. Uh, with... Hopefully they. Especially they with her at the end, like friendly way, you know, but yeah, I know, weird. but like especially with her at the end, like resting on him, like as they're going off in the helicopter, I was like, all right, I feel like they are doing like them as a couple now. Yeah. Like I don't know. At least they didn't push it too much, but. Hey, friends sometimes sleep on each other's shoulders. <laughs> the bromance. <laughs> True. <laughs> but, uh... Don't w- lead Hellboy on, though, like that. I will say, also, I liked Tom's character in the beginning, but then as it kept going... No, I didn't like yeah, him throughout any of this. Uh, no, he had the like, Appalachia fuck fucking character. look. He did, he did act like, a pro- uh, I think, a proper Appalachia countryman at times. Oh, yeah, no, like, he seemed like that, but I was like, why is this character in this movie... Like I said to you, it's like, this is the one time I would have actually preferred them to be like, let's get Mark Wahlberg to play this character or some shit like that. I'm like, yeah, sure. Gosh. At least they would have done something. Like, I think they should this just... This guy had nothing. Like, I was like, how did he even get cast in this movie? I think it's just he just kept yapping a little bit too much about stuff that wasn't really relevant at times. I just felt he wasn't really a sympathetic character or relatable character at all. He liked witch. He liked to get that witch witch pussy, man. <laughs> he just and just. I can't relate to that. <laughs> well, obviously, you never had. We're in love with a goth girl. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't relate. Unrelatable, don't Leon Tom. said. Leon doesn't like the goth chicks. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's exactly what I said. Especially the ones that turned to raccoons and shed their skin. <laughs> yeah, shed their skin, so it's just 
flat on the floor like a pancake all folded out. <laughs> that was funny. So you can climb back into it like a raccoon. That happened. That was one of the more memorable parts of this. But... I was about to say, that does happen. I'm not, I'm not dissing that part. That's just more of the funny. Uh, it is funny, though. That wasn't even really creepy, but like I guess that is technically a horror moment that does kind of work because you are kind of like, huh. But... Yeah, not many of those in this. I think it's more body horror type thing aspect. What do you yeah. think of the uh, direction from um, Brian Taylor, I believe? Not Alan Taylor. I think it's Brian Taylor. The guy who directed Ghost Rider 2. He directed this. Yeah, I know. You told me that, and I immediately was sad. Yeah. When I heard that before watching it. <laughs> Notice they have him doing a direct-to-DVD movie now. Uh he he's hurting two of my he's hurting two of my fucking favorite heroes fuck fuck him <laughs> yeah <laughs> like i think we said like this like just marginally maybe i don't know to you it seemed i think was a little bit more than marginally but to me like it just marginally beats out ghost rider yeah cuz ghost rider is just very very bad but at least you can have some fun with it with how bad it is this is just more dull and boring so that's why to me it just like beats it out marginally that and because uh the camera work was much better here than some of his past movies like cranker ghost rider where it was very like frantic like it felt like like he couldn't keep the camera still almost yeah so especially with someone like ghost rider to me that was like i can't see what's going on with the action because it's like Oh yeah, Ghost Rider Two is fucking. Because it's like someone is just like the fucking shit in the middle of the dark. It's like someone with Parkinson's disease is like has the camera and it's just <laughs> shaking, you know. And yeah. it's just like, what is going on? Like this is kind of making me sick too. Like I think it actually made me a little nauseous. Yeah, no, I agree. And and Hellboy or not Hellboy, um, Ghost Rider Two, that was fucking. Yeah. So he stopped doing that, which I was like, already I'll give you some points there. Thanks for not fucking uh, hurting my eyeballs with that. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> but. Not really anything stand out with the direction either, I would say. Yeah. Like, a lot of this is just in the woods. Like, it seems like, well, from what I was saying, it could could have been filmed in, like, my own woods in my backyard. Like, a lot of this. Besides when they start getting to, like, some of the shacks and stuff like that that are, like, <coughs> abandoned and stuff like that. Yeah. But otherwise, besides that, it literally looks like you could, it was filmed in someone's, like, woods in their backyard. Well, isn't that just the woods? Yeah. Isn't that kind of a good thing? No, but like <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> somehow it looked cheap to me. There you go. You know that saying? was I'd say elaborate on this because yeah, I don't think somehow they, they'll looked, understand. Somehow it looked cheap to me, and yeah, like I said, it looked like it could have been filmed in someone's backyard, like like the main star's backyard or something. Like they were like, "Fuck the main guy that we're paying for this." Like he's because like he's I think really the only notable actor, if you could even say that, in this movie. Um. Because, like I said, he was in, like, Deadpool 2 and, like, maybe some other movies that were actually in theaters. So he probably got, like, most of the money if anyone was getting money on the cast, like, bigger bucks. Yeah. Probably him. So I could, it, it's like I could just see them him being like, hey, I can't come in today. Like, how about we film in my backyard instead since it's a wood scene? Like... I will say it, it gave Blair Witch vibes at times when it has to do with like the fucking yeah in those woods. It looked like a Blair Witch woods, which maybe that was the vibe they're trying to get. And know? they were doing like the whole witch ball thing at one point and everything. Yeah. They started going into that sort of stuff. We kind of wish they elaborate. They explained more what the fuck witch balls did because for people who don't know the comics, they, they had explained no idea how to the make fuck. them, but they yeah. didn't explain what oh, they did. I, 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 she, old witch lady starts going on a fucking rant and naming yeah. the ingredients and how to make a witch ball. Which I'm like. Dude, did they make this movie just so they can uh, spread some occult knowledge to people? <laughs> <laughs> just it's an actual recipe to That's make why it. They did it. <laughs> it all makes sense now. It was just, it was all just a plot. It was all just a ploy, just to spread forbidden knowledge to the to the masses. <laughs> now, how many people do you think are gonna actually try that recipe? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, the I was like, someone's probably gonna try this. <laughs> Um, yeah, they have the, shave the hair you on their head, the, and shave their pubes. You know. Did we touch on the um? Did we touch on the visual effects at all? Uh, a little bit earlier, yeah. When I said the CGI looked like shit. Yeah, the CGI is terrible here. It, it looked like a like There's you like said a, a fan s- film from YouTube's fucking type Yo. of CGI in it. Or like a TV movie, not like a recent one, but like one from back in like 2008. Or especially something. especially like when, when we it were was kids. Especially when the giant fucking spider was involved. 
that, yeah, that looked that was, even worse than like the spiders they had in the Harry Potter movies from like <laughs> the nineties or early two thousands. Yeah, it did. It kind of did actually. Yeah. Like it looks bad here. <laughs> And like I said, I think that was part of the reason why it wasn't in theaters, because I think they even realized, oh, if people go to theaters and see this shit, they're going to be like, are you fucking serious? They film this in, like, someone's backyard woods, and fucking they have, like, the shittiest CGI spider ever. (sighs) Yeah, like, so the CGI was rough. Like, they had a train scene at the beginning, too, that was pretty rough. Like, that looked, like, out of a video game almost. (sighs) Yeah, it was just, it's not good. Um, I've seen worse, like actually some of the CGI in the Flash movie, which was in theaters last movie, uh, last year was a bit worse than in this Hellboy movie. (laughs) Damn. Some of it was a lot better though, but there were some scenes like, especially with that multiverse part where like Barry's going in there and everything, seeing all these different multiverses where that looked (coughs) terrible. It could be this movie did seem to try not use as much CGI. Yeah. They didn't use it that much though. That's the good thing here. But when you see it, you're like, ooh. Ooh, rough. That's rough. Of a like, remember when uh, fucking two Tom, Fs. Tom throws the witch ball and it fucking looks so weird and how it gets in his mouth. Like, it was fucking, it takes a fucking turn, right? Yeah. Like, he curved it. He curved the bullet. <laughs> he curved the bullet right into the fucking crooked man's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, like he was in that uh, Wanted movie or something. Like, yeah, he yeah, curved the bullet. <laughs> He just the threw. Fuck. He gave it a curveball, like he's fucking. In, he's a baseball. And I was like, why throw. him? And then like I was like, why not Hellboy doing that instead of him? But then Hellboy, of course Hellboy after that threw him down some stairs. And yeah, that's and then really busted how, his cranium full of pennies. Yeah, but that was souls. that was stupid and also felt extremely cheap. Where I was like, <laughs> this is the ending we're getting. Where they, I would actually. This is the one time I'd be like, I want a big CGI battle. But instead, we get Hellboy throwing him down a couple flights of stairs, <laughs> and I'm like. This is all they had to, like, defeat him? This is the big, like, how we're going to defeat him thing at the end? I was like, this is dumb. Boom. This feels literally like a fan film. Like, I think a fan film actually could have done this aspect a bit more creatively. So, uh, it's very predictable. Um, I didn't think the acting was bad, but the script, I thought, was pretty bad. Like, where, like you said, the dialogue felt pretty stiff at points. Yeah. Or it's, I should say, it's, you know, I, I, it's just the way they talk at time. Or, I think I'm exclusively really just referring to the fucking Tom yapping, fucking yap, yeah. yap, 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 yap. He yap, just yap, should yap, not yap, have yap, had yap. as much dialogue. But like I said, I think since, like we just talked about with the budget and CGI with this and everything, I think they realized they couldn't have Hellboy in as many scenes. That's why he was such a big character. Still, but I, I would have preferred even that other chick, like that was working with him over. Tom, I will say I development think she for her to... instead of him. Like, yeah, I was about why? to say they should have. I think they should have developed more her. The fact that she has psychic potential too, because you only saw like a few. Like, what fucking... was her name or something? Was it like Joe or something? I can't remember off the top. Wasn't it of something head. like that? I wish I remembered off. I forget her fucking name in the comics too. Fuck. But uh, How, what did you think of that character? I mean, she. I like. I was liking her. I would. I didn't hate her or anything really in the in the movie it was just more of a like i said I yeah don't think bob, talked bobby much. joe song but i think he kept calling her joe or something yeah, so Joel. it must be a nickname but she didn't she just didn't have that many as many lines as you probably think she should have compared mm-hmm. to once again tom and hellboy had even fewer lines than that you know times uh but uh then the then there's the reverend that was in there remember the reverend of the church yeah i guess he did a fine enough performance yeah, he was okay. Yeah. No one to stand out to me, though. Let's see. Uh, Reverend, it all felt like... like felt a little weird why they went into the hair in the tunnel. Joe and, tu- and uh, the Reverend went in the tunnel. Didn't, it was all just... <laughs> it seemed like it was for nothing. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that oh, was stupid. The Reverend just dies. Just to bring that, she got the spider. That was just because to bring that spider back because they had spent all so much of the budget on that spider CGI <laughs> animation. They're like, we're going to use that as much as we can. Yeah, meanwhile, the fucking Reverend's life is absolutely just torn apart as he's eaten alive by crows. That Thanks. Great trade-off, BPRD. <laughs> also, the, uh, the music here was pretty lacking. Like, like literally, the, like, the OST or the soundtrack, it literally sounded like it was just, like, at points, like, it going, like, Doom. Like where it was just like the mm. remember that it was just like the same thing over and it's, over. It's again. a stereotypical horror movie, like fucking. But it didn't add button. dread or anything because it literally just seemed like it was the same 
three second clip. Playing well, that's what I'm saying. They're trying to be that fucking thing. Oh, they totally. were trying to do. Totally, it, it does have that. It's just that the. the but you the know, if a horror soundtrack eventually drop. would lead to something where it's like, or like you know, it's like the the part where like all the shits going down or whatever. Yeah. This it was just. Dun, dun, like like it just kind of. And I'm like, I'm not scared right now. Even with, like it's just it just sounds like the same repetitive. <laughs> sound i'm hearing not yeah. like a soundtrack i feel like they used that track too multiple times throughout the movie it wasn't even oh just they did they used it a yet. lot they used it a lot they didn't switch up the music or anything in there in those scenes yeah. Like, yeah that's why i mainly stuck out to me like you can sometimes pull off a not big fucking or a soundtrack that even if it did the oh, you gotta make it kind of mm-hmm. eerie feeling at least and stuff but yeah i didn't get an eerie feeling because like the thing doesn't have a fucking climax to this song when it fucking does its boom boom the movie boom, the thing oh uh, boom boom the, yeah they well, just have that that's thing. Ennio Morricone that's a fucking amazing <laughs> composer hey you gotta remember too but but when the thing came out everyone yeah, was no one shitting on the fucking soundtrack I don't think it's gonna be the, I don't think too. it's gonna be the case of this movie though or people yeah like, no I don't think people so people aren't gonna be revisiting but it like wow this the was thing amazing is, the thing's music also made you feel uncomfortable like something's fucking off and it, it's and it's purposely doing it it's doing it's job Yo. this one it seemed like it was trying to do that but it didn't fucking at all yeah. it didn't give you that fucking fear factor at all where you're like huh and it was especially when they use it during scenes that don't even aren't really even horror or even really scary at all too at times where you're like why are you playing the horror music right now i don't think anything scary is happening <laughs> it's just having a conversation with we've already established this witch right now in the fucking hut is actually yeah. a good person i don't know what we're talking why we're having the fucking horror music for her right now guys yeah exactly like just weird yeah moments like that where you're like why is that's what i was saying it's like why is it even playing right now <laughs> Yeah, they'd be like, and like you said, with the suspense when I guess Hellboy's talking to the Crooked Man, but it goes on for a little bit too long because, mm-hmm. or the when the music doesn't give you the horror, it doesn't set the horror theme because uh, they're basically just chatting for so long, and when you hear the fucking boom, boom, or just boom, 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 that fucking same beat over and over for so long, yeah, while they're just conversation conversation they don't even have a fucking big fight in the end or during that until he gets into the church yeah you're like goes back he goes back in church that's when the, all the fucking action starts actually happening again you know no, like, oh. exactly but how would you uh i see we're at one bar battery somehow how would you wrap up uh on this movie honestly not really worth a good movie or much of a movie i guess so it, since it didn't came out of theaters there's at least that part going for it so in that probably because you said you like this better than the last one right better than the last uh, hellboy Hellboy. it it had the same hellboy feel to it the other one had more action and shit like that Uh but this one did have seem like like it was trying to be equal out to you or do you do you do like it better (sighs) Eh, it's hard to tell i guess see the old i guess see 2016 again to really make that judgment again so it sounds like it's more about equal then I did like the design, at least, close. of Hellboy more in this one than... Yeah, I know you one. said that. Yeah. And I, I agree with just from the images I've seen of that, because he looks weird. He but, looks um, absolutely atrocious, which I get. <laughs> Hellboy's not supposed to look like a big, pretty guy, but... But why? That's honestly it's like you were trying that, to be different. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say... You made him too different. Yeah, you made him a little bit too off. Like, Ron Perlman's one fucking still looks phenom- phenomenal. Oh, yeah. I fucking love that. Like, that fa- that's like the face of both... He's not pretty, but he's at least not fucking horrendous looking. Yeah, he doesn't have a fucking caveman bro. Well, my hope, <laughs> my hope for the franchise is like, this is gonna flop. I mean, they didn't even release it in theaters, so it's already a flop. Even though it didn't have much of a budget, but I can't see them doing another one of this. Um, yeah. I would hope that the future of the franchise ends up being that they realize everyone's been asking for a third Guillermo del Toro and del Toro, um, please come Perlman back. movie. Del Toro, please. Make that happen. We don't need any more than that. We're not asking for four more Guillermo del Toro and Ron Perlman movies. We just want, just, I think people just want one more. One more. End it off a with trilogy. a good taste in their mouth at the very yeah. least. Just something to end it off. People just want things to like have a satisfying conclusion. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> so we can get that. I think people will be satisfied. And then I think after that, 
they need to stop making Hellboy movies. I think they need to make a show. Yeah. Or, like, I think, like I was saying to you, this could have worked better, I think, as a show. Yeah. Like, if they wanted to focus on Tom and shit, like, as much as they did. This is a 90-minute movie. If it was a show, sure, he gets an episode. I probably would have fucking hated it, but sure. <laughs> Not my favorite episode, but at least you might have had an episode next that would have been fun. And All Hellboy. Honestly, that kind of works too, especially with the comics. Like, actually goes on for a lot longer. And so, I think they should either do a yeah. show or an animated show. Or, if they do insist on making another movie, make it an animated movie. But like, Dude, the release, animated ones like, with Ron in, Perlman voicing it was fucking dope. Or they could make Ron Perlman come back and do another animated movie in theaters. Yeah. And maybe have Guillermo del Toro, like, produce or something at least. Shit, would it? Or or write it. He's a writer too. Yeah, so. you, can have, you can even bring. I think Mike Mignola helped with the animated ones too, because the animation in yeah. that actually does look a lot like the comics. So. And I think he. I think this is one of those situations where, like, obviously Mike Mignola. I we've shit. I I have I've at least shit talked him a bit with this, but <laughs> I think he created Hellboy. So it's like ultimately, I think his involvement in this is one of those situations where it didn't work too well. But if this was an animated thing, it's more like the comics, and I think he would fit a lot better with something like that. Yeah, I think, especially Hellboy's a very animated type of fucking type of show, uh, thing. I think f- works out very well. well unless you're cre- going to go all full, the creatures and stuff too. Yeah, unless which you're going to go full Del Toro, who very pays lacking. attention to his fucking. If Del Toro pays attention to his fucking fantasies, horror, his fucking creature features, so. His wor- his movie works at, for that reason. Well, fucking if but if you're not gonna go all out like Del Toro, animate it because honestly that's, that's saying because this it movie just was, makes it the design Crooked Man better. was severely lacking. You can get a, like a Spawn fucking series with this thing, like like the Spawn series that they had from H- on HBO. Do that with Hellboy. Oh yeah, that's, fucking that's great. That'd be fucking amazing. God damn it, I would love it. I would I would I would. God damn it, I'd keep it as shit they with my collection. <laughs> but yeah, don't waste your money on the rental, folks. Don't waste your money on the purchase. Uh, I know it's only 20 bucks, but don't make the mistake I did. Now this is stuck in my library, and I wish I could delete it. <laughs> yeah. It definitely is up there with me for, like, worst <laughs> movies I've seen recently. I'd say not as bad as Expendables 4 or... um. <laughs> what was the other one I hated? That I always rant about. <laughs> Expendables four. What well, this year? Last this last year or so. Uh. Anyway, I don't okay. know, Expendables four is so bad that that, that it's just eating much, up all your memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stuck on that now. But. But uh, yeah, I'd say it's definitely up there with those, with that movie and. Some of the other movies that I've really not liked recently, but there hasn't been many of those. Usually, I, most movies we see I like, but glad I didn't have to go to the theaters for this one, but will not be watching it again. Yeah. For sure. Agreed. Better time, we're going to watch fucking all the Guillermo del Toro movies and those animated ones. Yes, get this taste out of our mouth. <laughs> yeah, don't do, don't do a marathon before. Definitely wait to do it after. Yeah, just... Fix yourself. Especially Just fix since, yourself after it. Especially since this is the probably the earliest, this new movie is the earliest thing on the Hellboy timeline. It's like, makes sense to do uh, that first. Especially since it's the shittiest. And then do the other ones. I'm not sure if it is. I'm actually not sure if it is the earliest. I think it is, because this yeah. one's 1959 or something, this new one. And the other ones were definitely, they had like segments maybe at the beginning or something that were in the past. But in the present, they were at least taking place after that. That's true. I mean, like, the first one did have, like, literally his origin story of, ah, oh, fuck Rasputin's fucking yeah. ritual up. Fuck his shit up. Ah! But yeah, watch. <laughs> Leon and Silas suggest to watch those. Yeah. <laughs> Don't waste your time unless you're a true Hellboy fan and you just, like, want to form your own opinion. Then you're you're not going to listen to us regardless. But you do you. You've been warned. Yes, yeah, <laughs> you've been warned. Maybe you'll like it. I know there's some people out there that seem to like it, but even some of the positive reviews I've seen there, at the very least, giving it like a D, like a six, you know? Yeah. So it's still hitting that, like, I guess you passed, but... 
the just passing grade at in school. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that's not very good to me when those are the best reviews. So yeah, you're either gonna hate it like us, or you're gonna be in that range maybe. So yeah, but to me that's not worth the money. So maybe uh, sail the seas for this one if you must watch it. Yes, agreed. But be a pirate. <laughs> thank you for watching, Pose. As always, we love you guys, and it's always a pleasure. Yes, until next time, see you. Signing off. Peace, Pose.